Hey everyone, you know I have been messing around with the USB Army knife like this awesome ESP32 gig from Waveshare which is the sponsor of this video. Waveshare share awesome hardware and one of the more frustrating things I kept running to is that every time I try to use a payload for a reverse shell, Windows Defender will always shut it down instantly. So. As frustrating as this problem is, I found a perfect tool to bypass it. Okay, so as you all know, I just recently launched my Discord server and you can find the link down below. And one of the first members there is Telemancer. He reached out to me, he shared to me a tool that he has developed a few years ago and it's called Beelin Unleashed. Not only does it generate an undetectable payload by Defender, but it also has a unique collaboration tool that lets you share sessions with other hackers. Yeah, so this is a very, very nice tool and this is something that I will be demoing to you today. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Kali Linux box in front of me. And the first thing we need to do is to install Villain. And the good thing about it is that it is already in the Kali Linux repository. So the only thing we need to do to install it is to go and type sudo app install install villain enter. Okay, and now we wait. Okay, so now that it is installed, let's try it out. Okay, so let's start. As you can see here, I have my Kali, I have my Windows here. Okay, on Kali, in order for you to run VLAN, all you have to do is type VLAN. And it will show this tool. <laughs> and with this, if you want to see all of the available commands, all you have to do is type help. And there you will see all of it okay now first thing we're going to do is to generate a payload so the command is generate payload payload equals so there are different types of payload one for windows one for linux uh, reverse tcp hoax shell that is being supported here and let's just do windows because that's the one that i have here Windows, if I would know how to type, slash reverse TCP power shells. Oh. I know there is already V2. Okay, so lhost equals ETH0. And if you are, ha if you are hosting, yeah, this will be the domain that you have. And let's just do encode. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is the one that you will be running. And what we'll, we can do is, so it is already copied on the clipboard, but unfortunately this is, okay. Oh, it exit, so copy. Let's just do it again. Okay, let's try if um it will, be captured by a our current antivirus. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do is paste it here. Oh, I didn't copy everything. Should be able to like like this. Copy, delete. Okay, so I should be able to like file save us. If I save it as a PowerShell. So test that PS1 and the antivirus should be able to detect it if it so as you can see it is it successfully saved so that means that this is something that our antivirus cannot detect. So now we have this okay and we have it here okay so all we have to do is 
this is a PowerShell. Let's just paste it here. And since it is encrypted, our antivirus will not be able to detect it. If you okay. so let's so while it is being paced, let's just wait. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you um, the offender. Okay, Windows Security that the antivirus is on. As you can see here. Okay, these are the. Okay, so let's check, enter, and see if it's run. If it will run, and see if Defender can. I'll just clear history here. Okay, do you want? Yes. So I'll just clear this. And let's go to the PowerShell and see. And let's try to run this. Okay. So there, if it is detected by our antivirus, we should be able to see an error there. Okay, so this one is being blocked by the antivirus. So let's try... Um, Let's try this one that is not encoded and let's try to obfuscate it manually. Okay, so let's do the same command that we have. It's generate payload window servers DCP shell. Okay. Uh, and we will be manually obfuscating it more. So let's just try to see what it looks like if it's not obfuscated. Okay, so this just means that our PowerShell doesn't have an obfuscation functionality on it. It's not supported on the template. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's just copy this. Okay, let's open our trusty notepad again. Okay, now one way to obfuscate manually is to, I'll just open here. Let's say I go with generator. Okay, so let's do some GUIDs um, without hyphen. So maybe let's do five. And let's do all uppercase. Okay, so we do have this GUIDs now. And okay, so we have this. And what we're going to do is, let's try to find all of the variables. So TCP client. So what we're going to do is control H. All of the TCP client. Let's just paste this. Replace all. And that should be okay. Okay, so let's do this. How about network stream? Control H, Control V. Oh, con Control V. Let's replace all. Let's see if there are other stream writer. Let's try that. Control H. Yeah. Control B, replace all. And okay, so that should be enough, I think. Even though there are other things here. Let's try to save it and see if the. Okay, so save as file, save as test to that PS1. Okay, so the uh, it is not detected as a virus, at least in my local PC. Let's see if it will be detected as a virus when it runs. Okay. Control, right click. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I think now it has finished pasting. Let's just try to run it. Okay, so I think it worked. Our manual obfuscation works. And let's just wait for it to connect here. Okay, so maybe I did something wrong. It's not connecting. Let's try again. Okay, so maybe there are some variables that I may have affected when I copy paste it. So let's just try it direct. And there. Okay, so this one has been blocked. So we just need to obfuscate it again. Um, I'm going to stop the video and I'll just try to change the variable one by one and try it out. Okay, so I have seen the error that I have when I was changing the variable names. Like for example, the TCP client, I didn't include the, what you call it, the dollar sign. And it also changed some of the words with the TCP client here, not just the variables. But as you can see, I have corrected all of those and I have run that. And now we have a session here. Okay. Okay, so let's try the collaboration tool of the billing, um, of the billing tool. Okay, so as you can see, I have this one, the first one, the, the first machine, Kali machine that we have. So I have the second one. Let's generate a payload for a Linux machine because this one I have an Ubuntu here. Remind me later. Okay, so payload equals Linux slash slash. Let's see. So Linux generate payload Linux slash reverse TCP uh, so there are different one let's just use bash read line okay so let's use bash read line okay so lhost equals eth0 and we don't have to oh Let's try obfuscate. Okay, so this is supposed to be the one that we'll be using. Let's just copy paste it here. Copy. Paste. And let's click enter. And that's supposed to work. And let's just wait. And as you can see, there is now a new session here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect the two servers that we have. Okay, so this one, let's just check again the sessions. Sessions. Okay, so as you can see, it only has one active session at the moment. Now, this one, the IP of this is 171.130. Okay. Okay. So the IP of the second VLAN or Kali Linux box that we have is 171.134. Okay. So in order for you to connect, let's just see. In order for you to connect, because I always forget the team server, but it's 6501 is the port unfortunately i cannot find a way to check it here so it is 6501 by default okay so let's do that so what we'll be doing is so connect the ip address 192.168.1.1 Okay, 192.168.171.1.7.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
three four and the team server for port which is sixty five again I'm always forgetting sixty five zero one so let's see if it will connect. Okay. So type one three eight seven. Oh, it's denied. Okay, let's try again. So, so let's try to connect. Type three one nine zero entered. Okay. So now, if we check, it is now synchronized. If we check the sessions. It is now sharing two um, sessions that we have, both of the computers. And let's go to the second one here. And if we go to sessions, as you can see, it is sharing the same session now uh, on the second or on the other Kali Linux pads. Okay, so since this is a collaborative tool, it is important for you to chat to each other if you are synchronized into one server. Now, there is no like DM or direct message here. Whenever you use the chat functionality, it will send a message to all of your siblings here. Right. Now, in order for you to send message, I think all you have to do is Use the pound sign or the hashtag and say the message that you want. Subscribe to Hakista TV, which you should if you are enjoying this um, tutorial or demonstration. Okay, message is broadcasted. So it says Kali says subscribe to Hakista TV. So there you have it, a very powerful solution to a major problem in our field. All thanks to a tip from our community. Again, thank you Telemancer for sharing it. And this is exactly why I started the Discord, to connect people like you and share awesome finds like this. And I'm really excited to tell you that our next video will be showing you how we will be using the USB Army knife to plant that payload permanently on a target machine okay so i can't wait to see you there if you have any questions again join the discord or comment down below till next time my fellow hockeyista